Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, which is a station where you watch, interact and learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. We are in form 1, lesson 18. Our uh, topic is farm tools and equipment and the subtopic is uh, workshop tools and equipment. But we are continuing from the previous lesson. We are on the third category of uh, the workshop tools and equipment and that is the measuring tools and equipment and also we will go to the fourth one which is the bowling uh, tools and equipment. Uh, to, uh, to the lesson objective, by the end of this uh, lesson, the, uh, you should be able to, number one, explain the various types of tools used in making, uh, in, in taking measurement. I mean, explain the various types of tools uh, used to in, uh, in taking measurements. Then number two, explain the types of equipment used in holding drilling bits in the workshop and therefore we go directly to the measuring tools and equipment there are various tools and equipment which are used the, uh, in the workshop to measure the, to take the measure the length and uh, uh, to take any kind of measurement the first one we have the tri square is the one which is used for uh, met, uh, taking the the perpendicular measurement then we have uh, the pocket uh, tape measure. This one is normally used by a camp, uh, in the uh, in, by, by by those people who are in the workshop uh, when it comes to measuring of the length. Then we have the Vanyaka Ripper uh, is the one which is normally used for measuring the diameters of the uh, the spheres or the yeah the sphere solids. Then we have uh, the outer car outside caripa is the one which is normally used to measure the out external diameter of uh, the, uh, uh, of a cylinder then we have the inside caripa on the other hand is the one which is used to when it comes to taking of the diameters of uh, the inner surface of a container which is a cylindrical in shape then we have the meter rule is the one which is uh, normally uh, can be used also when it uh, comes to measuring of length then we have the scriber the scriber is the one which is uh, normally used for marking uh, a point where the the, 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 the the metal is going to be cut by a hacksaw then we have the marking gauge is also used as a marking tool then we have the mortise gauge is also used as a marking tool the difference between the marking gauge it was only make one line because it has only one spur while the mortise gauge has two spurs and therefore it will end up making two parallel lines then we have the boring tools and equipment we have the auger bit uh, then we have uh, different types of bit actually the boring tools are mainly bits but the bits cannot be used alone they must be uh, used together or hand in hand with the holding uh, tools that holds the bits the first one holding tool we have the bit uh, bit brace and also we have the hand drill as you can see them on these images the third the second type of uh, the bit we have the counter sink bit uh, then we have the expansive bit uh, meaning that you can adjust it uh, as you can see it is has a uh, uh, an ad ad adjustable uh, screw. Uh, then we have the reason why do we maintain uh, tools and e equipment, especially the workshop tools and equipment? Why should we maintain them? The first one to reduce the cost of replacement because if you don't replace them, uh, if you don't take care, good care of them, if you don't maintain them, it means that you will end up uh, buying more and therefore the cost of production will also increase. The second reason is to make them durable 
to make them durable and therefore they will if you maintain the tool well it will meant, uh, it will last long and therefore it will serve you for a long period of time then we have number three to avoid the tool from injuring the user and therefore the person who is working with the tool if you are uh, that person maintains that tools well it means that uh, chances of injuring uh, him or her will be minimal and finally we have to increase the efficiency uh, this the efficiency uh, by saying efficiency it means that uh, the work which is supposed to be done it is, should be done uh, at ease with a lot of ease without uh, spending a lot of energy uh, when it comes to uh, reduction uh, increase in efficiency meaning that uh, the the, 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 the tool and the equipment will serve you well and therefore saving you the energy. Then we have reasons for, uh, we have the activities for today. We have come to the end of today's lesson. And the first question uh, will be uh, list uh, any three types of bits as mentioned. And then number two, uh, state any three reasons for caring and maintaining of workshop tools and equipment. And lastly, mention any two equipment used to hold drilling bits uh, when drilling wood in the workshop. Then for reference, you can refer from Secondary Agriculture Student Book 1 and the, uh, the publisher, we have the Kenya Literature Bureau. And for more information, you can uh, reach us through the following addresses. The first one we have through SMS using the number which is well displayed for you. And the second one we have the YouTube at Elim TV and the third one we have Facebook platform at Elim TV and finally you can use the Twitter at Elim TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Uh, till next lesson. Bye bye.